Please press bell icon to subscribe to my channel Seema Gautam for more videos. Hello everyone. So in this module we are going to learn about grade 9 cartoon study which is based on the first topic that is what is democracy? Why democracy? So we'll move ahead for the first one. Our first one this cartoon was drawn when elections were held in Iraq with the presence of US and other foreign powers. So question one is what do you think this cartoon is saying? So this military forces, the USA and allied forces were behind affecting the democracy in Iraq. Saddam Hussein ruled Iraq nothing less than a dictator from 1979 to 2003. So in 2003, NATO forces occupied Iraq and first multi-party elections were held in 2005 in Iraq. So the cartoon is saying that democracy is being established in Iraq with the help of US military forces. A second question is why is democracy written the way it is? So M stand for the signify the role of army in the bringing democracy in the Iraq. So democracy is written in the particular way because it shows that it is not true democracy and it is mockery of democracy set up by the US for its own interest. Moving to the second one. Syria is a small West Asian country. The ruling Ba'ath Party and some of its small allies are the only parties allowed in that country. So question one for this, do you think this cartoon could apply to China or Mexico? So yes, it applies to both China and Mexico. China cannot be said to be a true democracy is only one party that is Communist Party of China rules there and candidates are free to contest election uh, sorry they are not free to contest the elections if we talk about the mexico mexico holds election regularly in a multi-party system yet there is one dominant party there that is pri so until 2000 every election was won by pri the pri was known to use many dirty tricks to win elections We'll move to the second question. What does the crown of leaves on democracy signify? You can see in that cartoon that is a crown is there with the leaves and all. So answer for that is the crown of leaves signify that the symbolic democracy, the constitution speaks of democracy, but through democratic process, only one party rules by the adopting tactics to keep the other opposition away from becoming the rulers. Moving to the third one. This cartoon was drawn on the context of Latin America. Question one, do you think it applies to the Pakistani situation as well? So the cartoon reflects as how the armed forces be the police, army, or hooligans hijack the democracy by forces. So this can be applicable to the Pakistan, the democratic government of Nawaz Sharif. The time was topped through a military coup by the Pervez Musharraf. In the Pakistan, General Musharraf, with the help of army, officials control the elected representative. The final power rested with Pravez Musharraf. The second question, think of other countries where this could apply. This could be apply in many Latin Americans, countries, Iraq, China, etc. Moving to the third one, does the happen sometime in our country as well? We are talking about India. In India, Incidents of violences and both capturing by hooligans of poli politicians were common feature during elections, especially in northern states uh, of India. 
I'll not take any name, but generally these things happen in Bihar, Uttar Pradesh, West Bengal. Nowadays, the EVMs are used to voting and it has drastically reduced violences and both capturing, booth capturing incidents, etc. Moving to the next one. So you can see over here, this cartoon was titled Building Democracy and was published in a Latin America publication. So question is, what do money bag signify here? So a lot of money is spent actually during the elections time. Politician, uh, politicians spend huge amount of money in campaigning and even to buy votes. Role of money in affecting elections undermine the very purpose of democracy where a voter freely decided his voice. Second, uh, like, uh, could this cartoon be applied to India? India is no exceptions and most of our leader sitting in the parliament are millennials. So yes, this cartoon could be applied to India as well. I'm moving to the next one. Yes, so this cartoon is about to Iraqi elections held after Saddam Hussein's resign ever was overthrown and he is shown behind the bars. You can see very clearly in the cartoon. So question is, what is cartoonist saying here? So the cartoon shows how a dictator and how the voters precise or mean by one vote, one value. For the dictator Saddam Hussein, one vote is equal to vote of every person and one man is equal to he himself, that is Saddam Hussein only. So next question over here is compare the message of cartoon with the first cartoon in the chapter. We have already learned about that. So this cartoon is consequences of the first cartoon showing in the US Army personnel elevating the process to form a democracy in Iraq. But in this cartoon, the message is that the democracy is already installed. So the first cartoon in two chapters suggested the US Army personnel are elevating the process from the democracy in Iraq, as I explained to you. Going ahead and going to discuss about here the next one that is a Chinese government block free flow of information on the internet by placing the restrictions on the popular websites like Google and Yahoo. The image of tanks and the unarmed students reminds the reader of another major event in the recent Chinese history. So we are going to discuss about the questions over here, like find out about the event. So you can see this cartoon and you can see the things, pictures, which is given Yahoo, Google, and all you can see on the tank tire it is written. So the cartoon is showing the famous tank man who stood in the way of tanks moving to dispel and brutally crush the democracy movement by the student. It reminds us the massacre in the uh, like a Tiananmen Square in 1989. So in April 1989, the death of Hu Yo Wang, a liberal reformer, caused unrest among the students and led to the gathering and protests taking place in and around. Uh, and the Tiananmen Square in Beijing, it was largely a student-run demonstration which called for economic reform freedom of the press and the political liberalization. So the Chinese government brutally suppressed the movement for which was internationally condemned. Even today, like 4 June 1989, 
is the date that is Chinese government does not allow any gathering there around in the Tiananmen Square. This is the another cartoon which we are going to discuss. So this cartoon is from the Brazil, a country that has long experience of dictatorship. It is uh, entitled The Hidden Side of Dictatorship. So question is which hidden sides does this cartoon depict? So answer for this is like the hidden side is the brutal side and the faces of the dictators. It shows the evil characters of a dictatorial rule that witness mass killings and the imprisonments. Many such killings go unreported and remain hidden behind the government propaganda of the portraying the dictators like Hitler, Stalin, Mussolini as the saviors and the great nationalists for the good of the country. Like second one, it is necessary for every dictatorship to have a hidden side. So we cannot say that it is necessary for every dictatorship to have hidden side because if the dictator really wants to work for the betterment of people, he does not need to have such hidden side. Unfortunately, it is also a truth by history that dictators punish their opponents illegally. Question third is saying, find this out, the dictators discuss in the first chapter and if possible about the abetcha in Nigeria, uh, Nigeria and the uh, macros in the Philippines and all. So uh, here I'll just say about uh, both like General Augusto on 11 September 1973 through a military coup, Augusto overthrew elected government of the Salvador Allende and Allende was a kill and General Augusto uh, became the president of the country and ruled it for the next 17 years. If we talk about the uh, Zeru, uh, Zerusilki, so he was like a de facto dictator of the Poland from 1981 to 1990. He tried to crush the uh, solidarity movement led by the uh, Walesa. He imposed martial law in 1981 in Poland. He resigned from the power after agreement called the Polish Round Table Agreement in 1989 and then democratic elections were held in Poland. So these are the things, many incidents are like that, funded in General Sani Abecha, many are there, which you can just read in the slide and can get better idea of that. Now the next cartoon. So this cartoon was published in uh, Canada just before its parliament election, uh, parliamentary elections of 2004. So everyone, including the cartoonists, expected the Liberal Party to win once again. When the results came, the Liberal Party lost the elections. Is this cartoon an argument against democracy or for democracy? So answer for this is like the cartoon is mostly in favor of democracy. Democracy gives a freedom to judge your rulers and change them if you desire so. So the cartoon shows how the cartoonist is examining the critically the tenure of the Liberal Party. You can read all the things. Ultimately, it is he himself who decided to bring the Liberal Party back to power. We can question his decision by a voter is free uh, like by a voter is free to vote. So the next one. This is a famous cartoon by R.K. Lakshman comments on the celebrating of the 50 years of independence. Superb. So how many images on the wall do you recognize? This is the question. First one is there. So you can see over here, starting from here, that is 
the first prime minister of independent india that is jawaharlal nehru lal bahadur shastri gulzari lal nanda moraji desai choudhary charan singh indira gandhi uh, rajiv gandhi vp singh chandrashekhar narsimha rao devagoda and atal bihari vajpayee so these are the characters uh, or i can say these images are of the 12 prime ministers of india so for the next question do many common people feel the way the common man in this cartoon does yes many common men feel the way the cartoon is showing he is holding the flag of india but indifferently sleeps before the tv program telecast on the occasion of 50 years of independence the big words like industrial growth secularism democracy economic progress do not attract him the slogans of the poverty alleviation safe drinking water food and the shelter appears fake for a common man because he feels cheated when finds his own condition not changed much since independence such programs more are formal than mass oriented thank you so much keep watching please like share and subscribe my channel